Welcome back to another part of Hogwarts Legacy. If you guys do enjoy, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's get it. <laughs> Dude, this plan is so awesome. <laughs> okay, we are on our way to meet Richard. Those are mine now. Rebellion. The lamb returns to the wolf. Shall we finish what we started? Do they want to fight me as well? Yeah, they're pointing towards me. So many enemies around, dude. I never knew that Harry Potter is this hostile. I'm just a girl running around in a top hat. Chill, people. Waiting until night, maybe, probably. Yes. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It took the cunning of a Slytherin to track down these pages. Well said. Now, where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Sure, let's go. Aside from the birdbath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. I have no idea, bro. Rebellion. Nothing to do now but keep going. Lumos. So there is enemies here. I saw that on, on the map. Waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Well, I mean, he is dead, so... What's this? Rebellion. Look into my eyes. What do we do here? Do we climb this thing? I doubt it. We can run this way as well. I don't know what we can do there, by the way. Send chores there. solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. Oh, that looks so cool. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But... Uh, no, that's embarrassing, isn't it? You 
Loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jackdaw has led me. Yeah, let's enter. I wonder how big this place is. I can shoot the symbol. But it doesn't stay lit for long. That must be where this all leads. The pathway of doom. Rebellion. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. There's a spider. I wonder if any of my skulls will help me through this. Expelliarmus! Levioso! Lumos. Hmm. I don't think any spell would help through this. Somewhere in the cave. Hmm. Maybe just the fire one. Incendio. Okay, that works, I guess. I'm not done yet here. Give me that fangs, dude. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, the quest... The quest is saying down there, so this is the secret or additional path we could go. Now, there's a chest that has eyes. a potion there. Revenia. Does it have an eye? No. 
The loot we're getting is insane. Is it an outfit then? It's a robe. Look at them apples. But I don't know how to enchant things. It's okay. What is this? I wonder if I can move that platform somehow. But I'm gonna find more spiders. Yes, we are. Money. Untouched chest. <gasps> Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Wait, we got another coat? What's that all about, dude? Oh my goodness, it's even a lot stronger. Requires level 14, though. Luckily, I came this way. We're getting real strong. Gotta be honest. Another puzzle. Well, if Jackdaw could solve this, so can I. Revelio. Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. Give me all this gold. The spider's right above us. Not sure if they want to fight. Always check out the secrets in this game, right? It is very rewarding. I'm oh. glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Another one. Whew, it's a good thing Jackdaw didn't clean on me. Let's go this way first. It's 
secrets. So these things explode. Okay. That was a quick reaction right there. Okay, we got new legendary classes. They pretty much look the same as the ones we have. To be honest. But the stats won't lie. Ooh, dude. It is stronger. It might be the same glasses, but higher level requirements, most probably. Skeleton in sight, but well. Whoa, why is there different gloves? Is this a stronger? No way, dude. It it's because we can't upgrade it yet, I guess. Once we can upgrade, obviously, legendary will be better. Okay, let's check this way. Wow, dude, that's sick. Made that spider tiny. Made the spider tiny and then stepping on it, dude. That's so cool. Love it. Forty-four gold. Chapter wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Another teleport one? Ridiculous, dude. Oopsie, wrong one. Next one. This place is amazing. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? He's twerking, honey. Reveal it, yo. Can I think we could just uh, head back over here? There it is. The bridge. It's almost complete. 
More spiders. He's counting what the hell is it. Oops. Bigger ones. Imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. That's probably word you missed. So, where's the third one? Wait, what? Huh. What? How do I get that one? Arrow? Wait, what? Oh, there we go. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot. There's no sign of him. Now that's what I call one sexy bridge. You know what I'm saying? Look at this thing. I must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains. And those pages. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Oh, there's enemies. <laughs> I can't target this one. Bigger enemies.
Easy peasy. Reveal it, y'all. I've seen this before in Gringos and the restricted section. This is starting to become scary. You are, yeah. Starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. Let's hope so. What is this place? We look so classy, dude. Someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Isn't that weird? Let's see here. You've earned a talent point. What? Starting at level 5, you may spend the talent point as you wish to enhance your spells to increase combat powers and choose wisely. Talent points may be spent once. The number of talents you acquire will be limited. I return here often to see the new powerful talents. Cool. Core. Improve your overall effectiveness. Stealth. Dar uh, dark arts. Spells. Let's do core. Purchase a talent? Yes, let's see here. Hold RT and tap directions to swap and unlock spell set. Whoa, that's so cool. Ancient magic throw crates. We'll take this one first. 
We have seven talents, by the way. What? That's pretty awesome. Blocks will contribute to the ancient meter. Basic cast impacts reduce spell cooldowns. A new spell set is added. Number three. A greater effect. Your heals is more. Whoa. Bigger heals. Uh, they will take... Uh... I mean, I don't use much damage spells, to be honest. That will be a waste. Dealing damage with cursed target inflicts damage to all cursed targets. Um, same effect curse and enemies. I think before you do that, we should check out the core's highest level. Stupefy deals direct, uh, direct damage on impact. Uh, perfect Priego um, replenishes blast. Yeah, we want more Ancient Meter. Enemies nearby will also levitate. Enemies nearby will also get grabbed. Whoa, that's so cool. Makes you invulnerable and deflex projectiles. For each Chinese... Uh, chomping cabbage you throw is generated and released at no cost. Is generated and released at no cost. We'll take that one. Dude, it feels like you can do so much in this game, man. Let's hold on, dodge. Let's take the spell increase. Blocks and contribute to ancient magic. Take the fire ability. There we go. Now we're pretty strong. Okay, so we can go here now. Right? There we go. Um, something like that. Okay, now we can exit here. I'm not too sure where we gotta head. We gotta find this book. Don't know exactly where it is, but obviously I think the game will show us. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Because it's important, I guess. Reveal it, yo. <laughs> Goodness. I'm back at Hogwarts. 
I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Hmm. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. We're getting so much scrap gear also. Revenue. I can't go in there for some reason. You need to learn the Pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Okay. Professor Blunt. I think we'll just run there. We don't have a closed teleport point. I'll take that. And now we're not gonna get everything of everything in this game. We're just gonna cover as much as possible, if that makes sense. Yo, oh, it's so laggy, dude. I guess we gotta wait, yeah. Oh, we're gonna fly? Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Where's my broom? Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? <laughs> now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, Step up to your broom, say up, firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. <laughs> now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school <sighs> property. I think I'm getting I want them this. returned in one this piece. This will take some getting used to. Good grip. It's pretty nice. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Yeah, I think it's from this side. What a view! Hello! Nice day for a flight! 
Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Give me my slipstream. What? He just went twice as fast as me. This is right. Oh, well done. Have a moment. I see. Say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Sure. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Love. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy tonight. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? Part hippogriff. There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it! And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Playing dips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. How do you go so much faster than me? And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Why, thank you, good ma'am. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. I have no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. 
Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. We're gonna purchase a broom. Can I pick them up afterwards? I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Do you happen to have any Valerian space? Please meet me in the Maybe seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. Potion. I have an idea I for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes potions. and distractions. Unless you're anticipating being poisoned sometime in the near future. I do like Madame Kagawa. She's been tutoring me after class. I thought I could talk to them, actually, but clearly we can't. In the shadow of the Undercroft, probably find Sebastian in the spot nearby. She is very strict when it comes to I'm pretty sure we can teleport a bit closer. Let's see her. This one seems close enough, dude. Well, let's get it. Hopefully. And we are here. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Master stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Very suspicious. What is this place? This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident, if ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay, let's do this. Blended. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Why didn't it save?
Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Moonstone. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. <laughs> no comment on that. Revenia. Your gear slot are full? No, none of this. None of this. What a waste. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! <laughs> you failed. That's stopping me. Prefer to read this, guys? Revelio. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Not too bad. What was that? Was that a golden snitch? Perhaps you should summon your witch to find out. <laughs> Summer climb over. Self can find us in here. Hmm. 
Dude, how do we climb over that? Seriously. Search. <laughs> Got him. First try. <laughs> oh, that was harder than I thought it was gonna be. Come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed, it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You unlock the desk of a description, yes. Let's see. I'm 
pretty sure this is also of items of clothing that need to be identified the desk will be an invaluable resource this will be more useful when i have something to identify i think this is also the place where we will upgrade gear eventually i imagine the desk of description will come in handy it will i hope you'll take advantage of it now i'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring the room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Okay, we got a new spell. Why is this thing not letting up, dude? Ocean Station. Change color. You reach your budget on this type of item? Whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. 
Do not underestimate his insights. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. What an awesome room, dude. I think that table is pointing the wrong way. Pointing the wrong way. That's so cool. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions. Deke hasn't seen this many times. I don't have anything for this at the moment. I don't know how we don't have the gear. But anyway, guys, this is where the part is going to end. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help the channel a lot. Subscribe if you are new. Looking forward to see you guys in the very next video. Love you, take care, and as always, remember to twist some nips. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, have a great time.